right, here we are, Musician News. We are at NAMM 2014. There's been a huge amount of buzz going around about Slate. We're going to get into their uh, virtual mic modeling uh, piece here in a minute, but we wanted to talk uh, with Matt here really quickly about their Logic build uh, for Raven. Uh, last year, you guys probably remember, we covered uh, the Pro Tools version of it, uh, but uh, this year they um, have Raven for Logic Pro X. That's right. We're also releasing uh, the Duo build to be able to have Pro Tools on two screens as well. Um, Logic being said, uh, it comes equipped with a fully multi-touch Raven mixer as well as being able to go to your edit window and actually pull up floating faders that are able to move around and be multi-touched. You can still swipe your solos and your mutes, just like in the Pro Tools version, the software is actually very similar. A um, couple things that are really cool about uh, Logic is um, Logic X is very user customizable, and whereas Pro Tools, all the key commands are fixed. Uh, lots of Logic users have different ways of programming their uh, keystrokes. So that being said, we've allowed to uh, have these multi-macro keys. And I've pre-programmed a few of them. So it'll actually be able to hit mixer and show your mixer. Or hit smart controls and show your smart controls if you have them. You can go between your editor um, and you can even like program your buttons to save. And it's, it's as simple as just pushing and holding, entering your key command, Nice. You can change the button to a color um, and say new track. And there you go, you have it right there. Create a new track is just like that. Um, another feature we have, as on the Pro Tools build as well, is we have the nav pad where you're able to move up and down and control where you are. And you can actually uh, control that sensitivity here with how fast you move in the nap pad response. Um, as normal, you can, uh, you know, you can play your track, have a full uh, transport here, as well as um, one thing I really like are the layouts. You can design your toolbars custom and be able to move through pre-organized layouts that you can design. So as you can see, there's different ways that I like to work and be able to pull those up and save them in an order. Lastly, um, uh, lastly, I would say you can go to um, you can go and see your send faders as well, and those are multi-touch. Let me ask you: when when uh, you obviously update uh, Logic, just like you would normally update it, does does um, does this interface have to be updated as well with it? Or? Absolutely not. No, the software will, um, you'll be emailed with an update notification and all you'll have to do is log into your Slate account, just click update and uh, it's good to go. So in other words, when you're doing like little point updates, you do need to also update your Slate? For just, just your software. Just your software. Just your software. Okay. There's no hardware updates, no firmware. Okay. All right. That sounds great. All right. And this is uh, shipping or ready to go or? We're shipping by the end of February. Okay. And what's what's the price on this? Uh, we don't have an answer at this time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no answer at this but, time. But uh, I mean, a as a standalone, it, as the uh, as the MTI unit itself with Logic, it'll be the 2400. 2400. Yeah. 2400. And that's this size here. Or can, 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 uh, you've got an MTI and an MTX is different. Um, okay. That one is the either 1600 in stereo or 1750 in or sorry 16,000 in stereo, 17,500 in surround. And this is only 24. 24. And maybe 25, 24 or 25, sorry. There you go. So you can touch control with your logic. Uh, Slate has got this coming out the uh, next few months, so go grab it. Yeah. And 2014, we'll be back. <laughs>